In a small town called Quiet Valley, new people arrived one sunny day. The town was peaceful and surrounded by forests. The new people bought the old Marston house. The Marston house stood on a hill. It was big and old. People in town said it was haunted. No one had lived there for many years. The new people were Mr. White and his son, Tom. They were quiet and kept to themselves. They started fixing the old house, making it look new again. At night, some townspeople noticed strange lights in the windows of the Marston house. They also heard noises, like whispers and steps, coming from the hill. One day, a boy named Billy went missing. He was playing near the forest by the Marston house. His friends said he went looking for a lost ball and never came back. The town started to search for Billy. They looked everywhere. His mother was very sad and worried. Everyone in town helped, but they found no sign of Billy. More strange things happened. Other people started to disappear, too. First, it was Old Man Jenkins, then Miss Harper, who taught school. The town grew scared. Mr. White and Tom were asked about the disappearances. They said they knew nothing. They seemed calm and did not help in the searches. John, a young man from the town, decided to watch the Marston house at night. He hid in the trees and waited to see if he could find out anything. During the night, John saw shadows moving in the house. The shadows looked like people, but they moved too fast. It was hard to see clearly in the dark. Suddenly, John felt cold and scared. He saw a shadow come out of the house and move towards the forest. He followed it quietly, trying not to make a sound. The shadow led John to the old cemetery. It moved among the gravestones and then disappeared. John felt a chill down his spine and ran back home. The next day, John told the town what he saw. Some people believed him, but others did not. They thought he was just scared and seeing things. That night, more shadows were seen. The whispers became louder. The people who saw them felt a deep cold and fear. They knew something was wrong. The town decided to have a meeting. They talked about the Marston house and the strange happenings. They decided to go to the house and ask Mr. White questions. A group of townspeople, including John, went up to the Marston house. They knocked on the door. Mr. White opened it, looking surprised to see them. They asked Mr. White about the shadows and the missing people. Mr. White looked worried and invited them in. He said he would explain everything. Inside, the house was dark and cold. The townspeople felt uneasy. They followed Mr. White into a big room where Tom was sitting quietly. Mr. White began to talk. He told them he and Tom were not ordinary people. They were different, and they had secrets. The room grew colder. Mr. White explained that they were searching for a special place. Quiet Valley seemed perfect but they did not mean to cause any trouble or fear. The townspeople listened, confused and scared. 
Mr. White said that the disappearances were not their fault. They were caused by something else in the town. Suddenly, the lights went out. The room was in complete darkness. Everyone started to panic. Then, the lights came back and Tom was gone. Mr. White looked sad. He said that Tom was trying to protect the town from the real danger. He asked for their help to find Tom and stop the danger. The townspeople decided to help. They organized groups to search for Tom and the missing people. They looked in the forest, the cemetery, and other places. During the search, they found a hidden place in the forest. It was an old cabin covered in vines. Inside, they found something terrifying. The cabin was full of old books and symbols on the walls. It looked like a place for strange rituals. They realized this was the source of the real danger. As they searched the cabin, they heard noises outside. It was Tom. He was fighting with a shadowy figure. The townspeople ran outside to help him. Together, they managed to stop the shadowy figure. It disappeared into the air like smoke. Tom was hurt but alive. He thanked everyone for their help. They all went back to the town. Mr. White explained that the shadowy figure was an evil force. It had been in Quiet Valley for many years. He said that the force used the old Marston house because it was a place of power. But now, with their help, the evil was gone. The townspeople were relieved. They thanked Mr. White and Tom for their bravery. They realized that they had misjudged them because they were different. Quiet Valley returned to normal. The missing people came back. They were confused but unharmed. Everyone was happy to be home and safe. The town held a celebration. They invited Mr. White and Tom. Everyone celebrated their new friends and the peace in their town. John became good friends with Tom. They often talked about the adventure and what they had learned. They both felt proud to have helped the town. The Marston house was no longer seen as haunted. It became a place where people visited. Mr. White and Tom were happy to share their home. The town learned an important lesson. They learned not to fear what they did not understand. They learned to trust and help each other. Quiet Valley was peaceful again, but the people remembered the adventure. They knew that sometimes, bravery and unity were needed to face the unknown. Years passed, and the story of the Marston House and the Shadows became a legend. New people in town heard the story and learned from it. Mr. White grew old, and Tom took care of him. They both loved Quiet Valley and were grateful to be part of its community. The story of Quiet Valley and the Marston House taught everyone about courage, understanding, and the importance of community. It was a story they would never forget.